I'm Jack Williams, uh, Trout Unlimited Senior Scientist uh, here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona at the sixth uh, annual Native and Wild Fish Conference. And this is where we all get together to talk about uh, trout in, in Arizona, and surprisingly, the native trout in Arizona, uh, Apache trout, now Gila trout, that's being reintroduced into the state. The trout Unlimited has just completed a new strategic plan. One of the opportunities that we identified in that process was the Southwest Native Trout Initiative. We see a huge opportunity. We have our, our member base that's very interested in this. We have some great partners with state and federal agencies. But we have also a great need because of increasing wildfires and drought and some of the problems that's occurring in these regions. So that's all come together to tell us that, you know, this is the time to really ramp up our efforts to try to save these fish. Well, the Apache trout and the Gila trout are the ones that can really withstand some of these tough temperatures, tough environments. So when we talk about the future and what climate change is going to bring to trout, I think it's really important to hang on to these native fish that have evolved in some of these harsher environments and have been in those kinds of conditions. So those are the ones we want to hang on to uh, for, for our Talk future. With Trout Unlimited's National Science Program based in Boise, Idaho. I've been working on a Southwest Trout for a number of years now with Trout Unlimited and these fish are really important to try to conserve from a biodiversity perspective. We don't really think of the southwest as being home to native trout, but they have some species down here that are really unique, and they've been around for thousands of years, and we really owe them that chance to try to survive for a few more thousand years. I can't get over the notion that they are the color of the landscape here. Um, lots of reds, oranges, yellows, very reflective of our southwestern landscape. And I don't want to think that that's coincidence. This, this meeting was a good opportunity for a lot of people to get together and, and really talk about some of the current issues as, of facing native trout in the southwest. Uh, a lot of those are large landscape scale disturbances and I think this really sets the groundwork for kind of moving forward with some of the on the ground work and getting some of these fish back in the hugely unique watersheds that these, uh, these fish swim around in.